Well done, Dave. Thanks but, for coming oh, in. Thanks. That's all right. A bit short of breath, I am. Yeah, you've just been rocking and rolling, that's why. <laughs> yeah, and it is early, let's face it. Yeah, it is quiet. So it's just, I don't, my body clock's not really, you know. It'll click in about midday or so. Pretty soon, just as soon as we get off air. I'm just excited now. Yeah? Uh, have you been excited about your Weezy gigs? Have they been Yeah, they've well? been going really good. Did you play last night? A lot of people, yeah, played last night at the Palace, and that was good with the Foves. Mm. And so it's good having the Foves on first, who I love, and Weezer on later, who I love also, so. Mate, you get to watch all the bands as well as play. Fantasy. Yeah, perfect. Fantasy. Perfect. Uh, do you dig Weezer then? Yeah, they're good. They're good, they're polite, and they're neat. They weren't, it wasn't very polite to me. I think he was just tired. Yeah, I think he was too. I think I was a bit rude myself. Um, what do you reckon? I was going to go on this big thing to him about nerd rock and roll. Um, I, I believe there's a big resurgence of this or something. What do you think about the nerd rockers? Oh, I think um, he looks good and he looks neat. I didn't see him. I didn't see him this morning, but every time I've seen him, otherwise he's looked really nice and, <laughs> and good. And yeah. And they they wear the, big, parents the ear like plugs it. on the stage and yep. big fat chunky ones. Yeah, yeah. I used to like wearing earplugs, but I couldn't hear anything. So. <laughs> Not very handy yeah. for singing and yeah. stuff. Are you a nerd? No, I, don't, I think I'm. Um, don't be ashamed. Sure. No, no, I wouldn't be. I'd be. I'd, it'd fit in with the you know whole vibe if I was, but I don't think I am. Uh, I'm well, probably like the medium coolest in the band. Oh, the medium yeah. coolest, really. What There's sort of nerdier guys? people than me, and cooler <laughs> people than me, and custard. So. You're the you're the mean average. Yeah. And were you ever a nerd? Oh well, I mean, as an infant, I suppose everyone's pretty much a nerd, aren't they? I don't know. It's I very think, philosophical. Yeah. About I was uh, as a baby, I was hopeless, mm. but um, I got some social skills, and um, you know, it's all right now. And now you're just I've totally got, hip. Oh, no, not at all. Oh, no. just medium hip, sorry. Yeah, medium. Are you guys perfectionists? No, no. Your US producer, Eric Drew Feldman, reckons so. Yeah, but now, see, the thing about Eric is he, he's, he's a big man mm. and, and he likes to eat quite a bit of food. Oh, yes. And uh, he likes burritos and he likes <laughs> Thai takeaway. And, um, and he, he was just a, he was the sort of guy who... Uh, I wouldn't call him sloppy, but I, I'd, I'd say that he... He likes food, you know, you know what I mean? And that means, because he likes food, anything that you do, he sees as perfectionism. Um, yeah, roughly. Like, that's, a, that's basically it. I can't really make it any clearer I can't, I can't understand it. And um, how was recording in San Fran? <laughs> it was good. Like, well, we ate a lot, as you can imagine. Yeah, but yeah. Eric, Eric knows a You're lot You're looking of good... very well and fit and, and... Well, I'm feeling really yeah. good. Yeah. I'm feeling like I'm eating a lot and... Uh, I'm not, t today I'm a bit low on sleep, but I think I'm going to make up for that this Arvo. Oh, good. I'm going to eat, as soon as I finish here, yeah. I'm going to eat, I'm going to sleep, and then I'm going to get up. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's hardcore so news. So, you know, a uh, pretty exciting lifestyle. Did, uh, can you go back to San Fran? Um, I, I know you're excited about your plans in just a moment, but um, mm. stay with me for a moment. Yeah, San Francisco. San Fran. I hear you were taken for a bit of a ride soon after you arrived in San Fran. Yeah, oh, well, you know, like, uh, there was a few, um, there was a few deals. Oh, you know, like, we hadn't been out of Australia before, and there was four, four guys from Brisbane, mm. like, so it's not really... Worldly is not a term and, that's used with regards to us very much. And, mm. and Yeah, and we had a whole lot of money because, you know, we sort of got paid all our living money in advance. Wow. So, basically, we were giving it away to, to anyone who could, you know, basically talk English. And so, we lost a fair bit of money. Did they... You got scammed? Yeah, we got nothing oh, for our money. You poor old I can't really tell you what we were buying, but, it, you know... Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> and um, you hung out with Green Day as well, when you? No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't. Matthew did. I oh. didn't. See, because he see he's on the other side. You know how I was talking oh, before yeah, the about that. Yeah. yeah, he's on he's on either side of that. So, uh, so he, he got, got to hang out with oh, Green yeah, Day. Oh yeah, yeah. And did you hang out with Nana Muscuri or anything? No, I didn't hang out with. I hung out with Eric and Ada fair bit. All oh, right, that was quite good. <laughs> <laughs> he liked burritos. <laughs> yeah, I know. And what about the presidents? Oh, oh, no, 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 I hang, I hang out with you them You got to bit. hang out with yeah. them? Oh, well, good. once again, through Matthew. See, Matthew's my catalyst to the whole... Uh, without him, I'm nothing. Yeah. See, like, I'm just floundering now. This is a disaster. No. You know, but if he was here... Last time we talk, I talked to you, you, every time I asked you a question, you went, Matthew. Well, that's what I mean. That's why I never have to say anything or meet anyone. It's all up to around. you, though, now. Yeah. So what about the presidents? You, you met yeah, them? Yeah, they were good. And, and they were um, nice guys? They were very nice, and they, they had... Well, if I could just turn the conversation around to food once again. Okay. They had... Um, so on their tour, it was all catered for mm -hmm. them, food-wise, and um, they had, like, meals and everything, and and, uh, and they insisted that we eat with them, which was quite good. Mm, very nice. Really good it? desserts, and the uh, roast of the day was mentioned once or twice. Really? Did you get any custard? No, no custard dessert. Uh, no. Uh. I thought that no. would have been a witty pun if they'd organised that. And um, you've toured with the Foes and Sidewinder as well. There seems to be a, a big male emphasis on your touring companions. Is it a bloke thing? Yeah, it is a bloke thing. And speaking of the Foes, are having a benefit tomorrow night at the Evelyn. Oh. 
Because that was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Did anyone notice that? Your plug that you got yeah. in for free and also the, um, the, the noticing of the winding. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah wind it up, come on. And next album plans. No, no, you don't wind it up. You no. keep talking. Next album plan is going to be... Uh, well, I won't tell you what it's called, but... Um, I know what it's going to be called, and we've already recorded four songs. Oh. There's a song I wrote for Paul Medju, our bass player, called The Truth About Drugs, yes. that he refuses to sing. Oh, and it's no. sort of, at last, in a Pretty song, it's guy. got the whole, you know, drugs, all you wanted to know about. Really? And um, so that's for him. It's good advice for the kiddies. And I've written a song for Joe Malone, our, our sound engineer, called Josef Malone. It's, right. It's quite good. And uh, we've recorded those, and uh, everyone who's heard them has given them a resounding thumbs down. And, w and so when are you going to get this out? Well, that's the problem that we've run into. Because you won't ever get it out because it's so bad. Well, we re no, we think it's great. Like, we sit there listening to it, and we're just going... Like, am I insane? This sounds fantastic. Yeah, yeah. But everyone else... Don't listen it. to anyone else. You've got to no. pave your own way through. And um, this is a fantastic edition. You get the bonus Wahoody Fandango CD in here as well. I'm really into that. You get a free CD if you buy this nowadays. And um, tour dates we should go through. OK. Last night, you didn't see them at the Palace. Um, uh, tonight... Oh, Tuesday? Tuesday. Adelaide. Yep. Yes. Adelaide. <laughs> At Heaven. Thursday, ANU Canberra. Friday, the Metro Sydney, under the name of the Love Nuts. No, no, Custard. Custard. What's this mean? That's a, uh, some sort of spelling error. Sorry. And um, Saturday the 12th, Logan Youth Arts and Music Festival. And then Thursday the 26th, Brisbane Bill with Regurgitator and Powderfinger. Very nice. OK. It'll be fun. What do you think of the Arias? No, was, we lost. It was a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> we got nothing. A farce, a total farce. Um, are, are these, these award nights the highlight of band careers? Well, the food was good. Oh, food. <laughs> oh you can imagine. So, did, did you actually go? Yeah, we went and, the, and we, there was, the food was, um, there was like oysters and stuff to start <laughs> with and soup. Sorry, well, it was good. That's all.